Bears keep making their way down from the mountains. An active search is going on this noon hour, noon hour for a cub in the East Mountain area. News 13's David Romero is live in Edgewood with the very latest on this. David? Mike, this is very active at this very minute. We're almost expecting the cub to drop right out of the tree. I'm joined live by Leslie Iqueda. She is with New Mexico Game and Fish. Leslie, talk to us about what's happening right now. Well, we have the cub right up in the tree, and we're getting ready to get it uh, out of the tree. I assume he's going to put the catch pole around it, and it's going to drop down into this bag that everyone has stretched out. Um, we saw this cub in the mother uh, 6 a.m. this morning, and we've been in, in route following it around Edgewood since then. And uh, we, we're, the mother's nowhere in sight, but here, the cub is up here in the tree. Now, and talk to me about this real quick. The only imminent danger would be if the mother was here separated by her cub, correct? Yeah, the one thing you never want to do is come between a mother and, and her cub. So uh, we don't see the mother anywhere near. Uh, but this cub only weighs about 15 pounds. He's not uh, too bad. Um, so, yeah, we're just worried about the mother. You, you were saying he was just, it, it appears that he was just born recently, correct? Oh, yeah, the cubs, uh, the size, his size and everything, they, they're born around the uh, beginning of the summer, around May. So he's just born, about two, two uh, months old or so. Okay, and of course we want to mention too that already this week two bears were killed by residents in Placitas and Cedar Crest when they felt threatened. And last night alone three bears were captured in Vegeta, Cedillo Hill and Cedar Crest. All of those bears weighed well over 200 pounds and averaged from five years to adult age. Now of course food shortages are to blame for the increase in bears coming down, correct? Yes, and, and as well as uh, we believe an uh, increase in population as well. And, of course, we want to remind everybody that you do not want to approach these bears. Um, you must call New Mexico Game and Fish or even the local state police, correct? Yes, and, and never feed bears and leave out trash. Fed bears, dead bear. Leslie, thank you so much. And, of course, we are. this is happening right behind us as we speak, Mike. The bear is almost expected to just fall out of the tree. Leslie just ran over that way. And, of course, we'd send it back to you in the studio. All right, well, we wanted to stay with that as long as we could. And David, be ready. We may come back to you there uh, to follow this rather dramatic story there in the uh, Edgewood area. Now, Thank you very much, David. We'll check back with you likely in a little bit. Now, state law does allow people to kill wildlife if they are physically threatened or if the animal is destroying livestock or property.